Welcome everyone, this is Joe Is, and today I'll be talking about Google API keys, its usage, and also the limits that you can use. So a lot of uh, people and you guys have been asking about this, so I'm just going to go through a quick overview on Google website about this uh, Google API keys. Okay, I'll be adding some information in the knowledge base site also some links helpful links that will help you to find the information that you need yeah, as, as you can see here if you go to Google developers website and if you want to know how to get a key for your JavaScript and how to use it in Superstore Finder uh, you can head over to the Google developers page first okay so to use the standard API, you need a browser key. And all JavaScript API applications require authentication using API key. Including a key in your request allows you to monitor your application. So it's not required like uh, compulsory, but if you use this key, it will allow you to monitor the resources that say how many concurrent users are accessing your maps. Or your map application okay it's per IP address quota and also the uh, uh, how to say it allows you to upgrade because this later we will get to the usage limits that you can see uh, the premium version of the key that you can use if you have a lot of traffic coming into your site Okay, let's see how to get this key. Okay, so basically just go to the side and click get a key and you should be able to go to console developer's site and check out more details there. You can add the keys or generate the keys. Okay, so this is uh, Google Developer's Console. Uh, you can go ahead and create this key if you need, need, need it. Okay. Uh, all right. So once you got the key, uh, you can check out the knowledge base page on how to actually implement the key in Superstore Finder. As you can see, the first uh, instructions here is for Mega Locator Theme. Also for Superstore Finder for WordPress, you just have to go edit JS, make a Superstore Finder the JS, and then search for this keyword like Maps Google APIs .com, and just have to add your key in the parameter list. Okay, for standalone version, uh, you just have to edit depending on responsive or non-responsive version. For responsive version, you just have to edit theme slash meta underscore mobile PHP while the standalone version you just have to edit theme slash meta dot PHP and same thing search for maps that google apis dot com and then go ahead and add the key that you have generated just now okay so moving to the next topic we're going to talk about usage limits so the javascript api has the following limits for standard usage limits users of the AP, standard API free until exceeding 25,000 map loads per 24 hours so in for 90 consecutive days so if you have less than 25,000 maps per, uh, per 24 hours then it is free and it's not Recurring every day, like not every day you have like twenty five above twenty five thousand, then you might need to go for the premium usage. Okay, so the pricing is based on volume. If you're going for premium usage, but for standard usage, like twenty five thousand and above, you have the option to enable pay as you go to unlock higher quotas, basically. So after setting uh, the free usage limits, billing at fifty cents per a thousand additional requests. 
so after 1 million requests per 24 hours so you have to pay like per a thousand uh, requests so it's like basic girl but if you go for a premium listing uh, you can check out with Google on this one like the price pricing based on volume required so we have additional plans of a premium plan as well like they have annual contracts with enterprise terms 24 hours technical support service level agreement like they have, you have SLA with uh, Google in case your service is down how, how many uh, minutes hours they can recover your your platform that's depending on Google you know you have SLA and those kind of services so this way you can communicate to your clients and say uh, we have SLA with Google and it is usually within 24 hours for instance also licenses for internal OEM and asset tracking use cases so you can contact Google for more information uh, so the two options there basically standard usage you can pay as you grow so you, and the other one is premium usage where you have more benefits like SLA and all that um, also if you're going for this kind of um, uh, like the limits are more than 35,000 you want to go like uh, for the premium usage it's advisable to use HTTPS for your Superstar Finder because it's regarding security so best that you have HTTPS uh, domain name and uh, proper security certificates SSL on your server to basically yeah make the best of it it's recommended by Google as well so for more information you can check out uh, Google website Google developer website I'll be posting the link on the description area uh, thanks for watching I'll see you guys next time